raining. It's freaking raining, son of a tank. I knew this would happen. I freaking knew it. This is not great for a motovlog. Thanks, bro. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. The music loud. Let's check my mail, and nobody loves me. All right, but I do know that my followers love me. So, what is up, everybody? We're here today for another moto vlog, and this is going to be a very sad but also happy moto vlog today because we've got probably the last ride on my Yamaha Bolt, and I want to just take a moment of silence here for this beautiful bike. So I'm going to start her up and get on this ride because I'm actually going to the gym right now. But this was a perfect time for me to start this video and tell you guys what's up, what's going on, why this is even happening, and all of that jazz. Now to kick this off, I kind of need to explain somewhat what's going on. I'm not one of those people that likes to hide shit until the very end. Yes, that was a donkey. <laughs> I'm not one of those YouTubers that likes to hide every bit of gold in the video until the last, you know, five seconds. So I'm going to try to get it out there for you guys. And yes, I am deciding to sell the Yamaha Bolt. Now I know, I know, I know what everyone's going to say in the comments, you know, oh God, why, why her? And all that jet. Look at this turn though. I'm about to scrape and I almost scraped, which... Which we will go over later. But I already know everyone's gonna be talking about how sucky this is, how much, you know, this is some bullshit, you know what I mean? I got it, I understand, I feel you, trust me. I feel more sad than any of y'all because she, I'm, she's mine, you know what I mean? She's not y'all's, she's mine. I love her. But it's just time. And uh, hopefully I can explain this perfectly for you guys so that you have nothing left to think about and that you know exactly what's in my brain and why I'm doing this. So one of the first things that came to my head just now is the quote that I had on my Instagram post about the Yamaha Bolt. Um, some people already know that I'm about to get rid of her. And um, this was the first thing that really popped into my head and that's about the adventure that I'm on right now. Moto vlogging in general is a very, you know, adventurous process. You're constantly riding, you're going to places, you're going to different events, to rides, meeting new people. It's a journey. It's an adventure and it's probably some of the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. This channel and all of the different things and people I've met and things I've done and, and tricks that I've learned, all of this is such a fun adventure and everyone knows that you cannot go on an adventure by sitting still you just can't to be on a journey you have to move you've got to change you got to move you got to get out there and part of that to me is learning new bikes i don't think i can fully fulfill my adventure or this you know this channel's prophecy by just staying on one motorcycle the entire time you know, there's some moto vloggers out there that have moto vlogged for like seven years. I'm only like two years and I'm already like, let's go, let's get another bike. So, my big thing right now is that I want to constantly change. I want to give you guys fresh videos. I want to give you guys fresh content. And I, I feel like I can't fully do that on one motorcycle and one motorcycle only. The second thing that I want to talk about is why I'm getting rid of the Cruiser and not the Honda Grom. The reason I'm getting rid of this Cruiser is because of my riding style and like my boy Walterific, shout out to him, like he even needs shout outs, but um, shout out to my boy Walterific. He made a video about selling his R6 to buy a Kawasaki Ninja 650. Now everyone in his comments were just shitting on him, like are you kidding me? What are you doing? Because I, I agree. I think the R6s and Yamaha in general is better than Kawasaki. That's just my personal preferences. But I think the R6 is so much better than a Kawasaki Ninja 650. But 
it's his riding choice and he rides a lot more streets than he does highways and track and he explained into there that the way he rides the r6 just isn't really good for it it is extremely aggressive it is extremely fast and it's just not like the R6 just isn't really meant for the for these types of roads. They're meant for track. They're meant for the highways, and that style of riding. And Kawasaki Ninja is a lot better at these types of streets. So that's why he made that decision. And that's kind of where I'm going right now. I love this motorcycle, but the way I ride just doesn't really fit it right now. This thing is very quick. It's very fast but it doesn't turn and hit corners and the streets like I really want it to. And I'm a strong guy. I'm 200 pounds, I've got good muscle on me, so I'm able to contain the weight of this bobber, but it's just a little too heavy for me right now in the way I ride. I wanna be able to hit corners quick. I wanna be able to get up and just slay the town without a heavy ass bike. <laughs> And the more that I keep riding my buddy's bikes and, you know, getting to test out certain things of the moto motorcycle community, the more I'm being able to see what's out there. And this was my first motorcycle. I didn't know anything about motorcycles. I bought this and now I'm starting to get a real, I guess, an insight on how other motor motorcycles work. I want a bike. It's f***ing raining. It's freaking raining, son of a taint. I knew this would happen. I freaking knew it. This is not great for a motovlog. Thanks, bro. Ugh. I'm gonna lift real quick, and then we'll continue this little motovlog and shenanigans. Okay, so I just finished working out, and now it's pitch dark, so <laughs> a little too dark to motovlog, but I will resume the rest of this video tomorrow, starting now. All right, everybody. It is a new day, better weather, better sunlight, better everything. It's tomorrow, obviously last night after I worked out, I was gonna continue the moto vlog, but it got way too dark outside, so it would have been boring because y'all wouldn't have even been able to see anything out here. So, we're gonna resume from here on out. The big problem here is my problem with ADHD. I don't remember where I left off yesterday. Think, think. One, I'm bringing you some carrots tomorrow, bro. I freaking love that dude. So I believe I left off somewhere about, you know, the differences of my Yamaha Bolt and where I'm wanting to be now. And being on my Honda Grom, it's exactly how I feel about this entire situation. I find myself riding this thing more than my, my Honda or my Yamaha Bolt. I don't know why. Everyone's like, why? Why would you ride this over a freaking Yamaha Bolt? I don't know, guys. It's just, I guess, there needs to be a word for it. I need a good word to describe how fun it is to just ride on something that's not even fast because it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Like, to be on something that can barely go on the highways, it's like, how can that be fun at all? It just is. What would it be like? The funability? Funability? Does that work? Y'all think that works? Funability? That's not even a word. But we're gonna make it a word. I don't even know a good word. If y'all have a good word for that, leave it in the comment section below. But yeah, that's basically it. Like the fun ability of, of a Grom really just expresses my feelings about this because I love being on this so much that I find myself not ever really riding my Yamaha Bolt. The only times I ever really ride my Yamaha Bolt is when I need to go fast or race Dustin or if, you know, if I'm riding with a bunch of people that have bigger bikes, I don't want to be on this thing. You know what I mean? I don't want to be on this thing at all. Um, but when I'm with everyone that's on Groms and Z125s and pit bikes, like, it's a, such a blast. It's such a blast. And I guess I'm trying to find me a bike that is basically a bigger version of this. Y'all may have some ideas already. Oh my God, I'm coming up hot. Woo, I'm coming in hot. But I'm basically looking for a bigger version of this. I'm going to keep this though because of the whole Grom spirit. You know what I mean? Grom Squad, all that jazz. I've put a lot of effort into this bike and I've had a lot of subscribers and fans put also donations and effort into this. So I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this at all, but I will be selling the Yamaha Bolt to get something else that's a, a lot bigger version of this. If you guys think you can guess 
what that would be. I want you to leave that guess in the comments section. I would love to see if you guys can call it out. I don't know what else to say guys. I guess the only thing that I have left is basically, I hope you guys can support me through this, this uh, transfer, this change, because it's definitely gonna be weird. You know what I mean? A lot of people, a lot of people have been discussing, you know, like, oh my God, the Yamaha Bolt is your, your beginning. The reason you moto vlog, the reason you are you. What's up, dude? Okay. Oh, no what says from him? Hey, fuck you, guy. Hey, fuck you, buddy. You freaking motorcycle racist. Grown people are people too. Woo, I just dodged that butterfly. <laughs> But like I was saying, a lot of people were just discussing how the Yamaha Bolt was my first motorcycle. How could I do this? How could I do this with my first motorcycle? What started the Solus channel and all of that. And like I said, guys, it's not about that. My channel has never been about the Yamaha Bolt. It's been about me. And I want to decide to get rid of it, to move on to something new, something beautiful. And I hope you guys can support that. I hope you guys are absolutely going to love what I'm getting because I've already shown a few people and they're they they love it they absolutely love it so I hope you guys do too and uh, don't forget to comment subscribe like do all of that shit to help your boy Solus out and for all you motorcycle riders currently watching this right now stay safe out there stay frosty and I will see you guys next time Emergency.